It is beyond a doubt that Roosevelt Skerritt has been the most transformational leader this country has ever had. For those who know the history of Dominica, he has taken this country out of its persistent poverty and set it on a path to become a prosperous, peaceful and just society. In the process, he has refuted the thesis that the price which must be paid for economic and social development is the sacrifice of the natural environment, the weakening of communal bonds, and the existence of a poor underclass to keep the working class on its toes. Instead, he has chosen education as a tool for development given every Dominican access to education and training and showed them how to use the country's God-given natural assets to create employment and wealth without destroying them. During the past 10 years, he has listened and paid careful attention to the needs of his constituents from Vecas and Cottage in the north right down to Soufrié and Grand Bay in the south. In the process, he has put together an exciting and powerful formula for development that includes an educated and enterprising population, a solid and reliable infrastructure, a highly diversified tourism package based on Dominica's assets, the exploration and use of abundant geothermal energy, the mechanization and diversification of agriculture, the more equitable distribution of the nation's wealth and the creation of a strong social safety net. With such a formula, the best is yet to come. Well, certainly we are very satisfied with the work that we have been able to do, uh, taking into consideration a number of factors. Uh, uh, the most important factor being the fact that we have been uh, operating under a global economic and fiscal crisis. When I came in here as a parliamentary rep, every single road in my constituency was in a poor state, every, with no exception. And we have been able to revolutionize the infrastructure. But for me, the most important area of my own stewardship and the success that we've had is in education. When I came into office, only 28% of primary school graduates had access to secondary school. In a matter of five years, I took this up to 100%. At, this, at the tertiary level, at the community college level, um, less than 5% of all high school graduates in my constituency had access uh, to the state college. Today, as we speak, 92% of all high school graduates in my constituency have access to college education. I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, that this Labour Party um, has earned itself um, a fourth term.